Hello and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminars, Session 1, The Basics, Part 2, Controls and Views. OK, so let's look at the Revit screen. Again, we're looking into the project um, environment and uh, probably the best place to start is by inputting some objects into the project environment and taking a look around and seeing what it does for us. So, let's choose a wall. So on the Architecture tab, there is a wall tool. With any object, uh, sorry, with with any um, command, if you hover your cursor over the command, you get a pop-out help menu, which um, tells you a bit more about it. So, if you click on the wall tool, the thing to notice is the top bar turns green. You get a new tab at the top called Modify and Place Walls, and you have Draw Input Methods. It's as default selecting a single line and if you look on the top bar that's ticked to chain. If you look at some of the properties that this wall has you can see what's happening. The base is constrained to level 0 and is offset by 0. The top is unconstrained or unconnected so it's not connected to any levels. We'll look at that later and its height is 8 meters. If you look along the top you see the same information you see that it is chained, which means that if you click once, click twice, click three times, click four times, you'll get a chain of walls. If you untick that, you click once, you click twice, the command ends. Also take a note of location line, finish face exterior is what's on mine. Uh, yours probably says wall center line. Now, I prefer to start with, it's a bit more logical, to use finish face exterior as an input method it's more like the footprint of the building okay and we're going to use single line walls but just note that there are other things in here like circles partial circles arcs rectangles um, and we will look at them as we go okay so you work in a clockwise direction to ensure that the brick outer face is on the outside if you work in an anti-clockwise direction that brick face will be on the inside so click once. Don't worry about the sizes for now, just try and keep them within the elevation markers. Click again. Try and keep to the 90 degrees. Click again. On the third click, look out for the blue dashed line. That means you're in line with the first click. Um, you do get these hints. And to finish it off, close it up again. Look for the pink square. That is a snap tool and that's uh, ensuring that the end is at the beginning okay let's finish that off that's tidied that up for us at the corners okay you'll notice I'm zooming in and out and if I press and hold the central scroll button in I am panning central scroll button zooms in and out and pans in 2d so okay um, now we've got an object in, I'm going to escape twice. Escaping once deselects the, um, doesn't deselect, sorry, it gets you halfway out of the uh, line command, allowing you to input another line. Escaping twice gets you out of the command fully. If I go to my project browser, I have been looking at level zero, downwards in plan view, but notice if you expand 3D views, there is a 3D view there. That's also the same as the small um, house on the top quick access toolbar. That's that's the same shortcut. Double clicking on either takes you into a 3D view. So again, you can zoom in the 3D view using the central scroll button. You can press and hold the central scroll button and that pans. But if you press and hold the central scroll button and press shift at the same time on your keyboard you orbit. Notice that the view cube in the top right is moving this is a quick way of getting to some of the standard axonometric views of your object. Some of these commands are also available in this drop down menu here. Personally I very rarely use this um, I prefer to use the mouse scroll wheel and this is why um, using a a laptop with a trackpad is actually quite difficult to use Revit on. Um, invest in a USB mouse with a uh, scroll button if you want to sit, take uh, Revit seriously. 
Okay, so that's um, looking at the views, and uh, that's all for this one. Finders in um, session three to continue. Okay, thank you.